Chewy right here. It's a little messy because I took my brother to the <laughs> No, it's all good, bro. Yeah, but it's just fucking crazy, dude. It's gonna take me for a little spin in the Supra. Yo, what year is this? It's uh, 21. Oh, you got the stars in here, too? Yeah, dude. This is a 21? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> nah. Nah, that shit is sick as fuck. Yeah, basically. Oh, okay. It's just out right off the cats. Bro, that's insane. I wish there's some fucking killer burnout or something. <laughs> Shit is so sick, holy fuck. And the color dude, like, I used to have a deal. <laughs> like there's no way people don't know you're over here, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't, you can't be quiet with this shit. Hey, you ready for that? Bro, that, was, that shit is so sick. It sits on the fucking ground and everything, dude, so it's fucking sick. <laughs> bro, that literally just made my whole day. That literally just made my whole fucking day, bro. Yo, shout out to Chewy, man. Shout out to Chewy. I'll tag, I'll tag him up in the video. <laughs> That's one of my new friends, like, in the last couple of months. I just, I actually just, the last time that... I saw him was my first time meeting him. So I just saw him again today, like said what's up to him, talked to him a little bit. I'm leaving 
and I see this Supra out here, I already followed it on Instagram. I've, cause that's his car right there. I already followed it, but I didn't even know it was his. I just, I met him completely unrelated. And I'm like, like him, I have like, no. Nah. I walk up to him like, bro, tell me that isn't your Supra outside. And he's like, yeah, bro, that's mine. So like, you want to take it for a spin? Nah. That was so good. All right. That's a great way to end it. That one right there was a great way to end it. Man, that was so much fun. I've been saying, I've been saying the Supra is gonna be my next car. Bro literally has like the perfect setup. Like I would I would get a different color than the purple, but everything else, the bags, all the aftermarket shit he has, perfect. Man. Welcome back. This will be episode five. Episode five. Oh, today I'm actually on my own. So I'm gonna get a little bit of footage of this back workout. Um, it'll be in the video somewhere. But I kinda wanted to switch things up a little bit today. A little bit of, a um, little more dialogue in here. You know, really talk about some things that have been on my mind. Um, yeah, right now, one of the things that I would say that I'm not super confident about, my posing is good, but it's not perfect. I don't feel like it's perfect. I don't feel like I'm, I don't feel like I'm 100% ready. I mean, I know I could do it. And part of that is also just anxiety or just generally just fear. You know, it's not easy to say that you're scared to do something, but more often than not, we're scared of a lot of shit in life. Most things are fucking scary. Um, the show is scary, even though it's, I'm go, I'm doing it, I'm going to do it, I know I can do it. Is it still intimidating? Is it still scary? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's real, and I've been thinking about it, like, yeah, I really am gonna step on that stage and, <laughs> and pose in front, of, in front of a whole bunch of people. And to be completely honest with you, it's not necessarily for me, it's not really like caring so much about what other people think because I definitely moved away from that uh, a while ago, you know, in the last couple of years, not really giving a fuck. But it's more so I care what I think. Which that means I need to know that I did my best. I need to know that I gave everything into this because it's so extremely important to me. You know, this is something that I've never felt this way really about any other thing in my life or any other sport. Honestly, anything. I really haven't felt this way about anything else. Um, as far as just how much I care about it and how much passion I have for it. And so I really need to know that when the day comes that I put the work in, that I did my best, that I, you know, I did what I needed to do to do my best and whatever the outcome is, I'll be happy with it because I know that I had done everything. I don't want to look back and regret and say, oh, I skipped my fucking cardio too many times or I cheated on my diet or I decided to go do this or hang out with my friends this day or, you know, I, I skipped my workout on this day because I wanted to do this or whatever. And it's like, some people might think that's unhealthy or even, I don't know, over the top, not even over the top, but just a little crazy. Most people don't understand it. Most people don't understand even working out. They don't, they don't get, they don't understand, you know, placing yourself in discomfort purposely. You know, they don't understand purposely suffering. They don't understand how these things make you better, how they better your life. They just follow pleasure and instant gratification and they pay the consequences later. You know, they don't, they don't pay up front and then, you know, gain those, the benefits of their actions in due time. I'm saying that's a, that's that's the whole concept of delayed gratification, right? It sucks working out. I mean, well, I, I obviously love it now, but like you just start, it sucks, it's painful, it's uncomfortable, you're hurting, you're sore, it's awful. Oh, why would anybody do this? And you don't see the reward right away. It's not put right in front of you. But with enough time, you will start to see change. You will be rewarded for that behavior. The gratification comes later, it's just delayed. But we're so conditioned to follow instant gratification that people literally don't understand that. 
we got the ghost sour watermelon. I almost grabbed the green apple because I love that one. I, I think it's I think it's already it's been in like mentioned in two out of four of the last videos. So well we're trying something new today. Okay. It's not cold enough because I left it on my counter, but the taste is actually great. If, if it was just colder, it would be fucking perfect. But yeah, this is, this one is fire. And last week was busy. It was a pretty busy week for me, you know? Um, it's, it's Saturday, and this is the latest I've ever recorded a video in the week. Normally I get Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday was the latest. Saturday. This is the latest I've ever fucking recorded a video. So, yeah, I've been grinding um, the last four days now. The last four days in a row, I've probably gotten no more than five hours of sleep each night. Which, oh, I know that's not optimal. I know I'm prepping for a show. My, I need to prioritize my sleep. I get it, bro. I understand. But at the end of the day, when shit's got to get done, shit's got to get done. And you just got to push through it, you know? Um, and I'm not going to sleep and miss my meals or fucking miss work or, you know, go to bed early but not prep for the next day and just fuck myself. Then that's honestly why. I grilled chicken at 12.30 a.m. the other night because I needed it. Did I want to go to sleep? Yeah. I had been up since 5.30. Of course I wanted to go to sleep. But that's what needed to fucking be done, bro. And I understand that when I'm sitting there, and yes, I'm exhausted. I wanted any, more than anything just to go to bed. But I have to say, look, how I feel right now doesn't matter. And it, people don't like to hear that. Especially if you tell somebody else that, they really don't fucking like to hear that. Yes, I wanted to go to sleep, right? But I understood that that's what most people would do in that situation. Do I want to be like most people? Fuck no. That's that, it's that champion mentality. What is going to separate me from everybody else? What am I willing to do that nobody else is willing to do? And in my head, most of the motherfuckers that I'm competing against are on the same shit, bro. They were going to cook that chicken. So I didn't even have a choice. Maybe some of them wouldn't, right? But most of them would because they understand. They're in the same, they're in the same fucking, like, way of life as me. So I cooked that damn chicken, of course. I understood this is what it takes to be great saying, listen, I know I'm tired, but I'm going to not listen to how I feel in this moment and make decisions based on what I want for my future and for my success and like long term. Okay. It's that it's delayed gratification. I'm telling you, it's everything. Okay. I'm going to put you on. And this is something I, this changed my entire perspective on discipline. And this is how I think about most things now. You need to treat those little decisions, those individual instances of a larger goal as being just, just as important as the entire goal, okay? Those little parts are just as important as the whole because they make up the whole. We like to negotiate with ourselves, in fact, we're so good at lying to ourselves and saying, oh, you know what, it doesn't matter. It's just one time, you know. I don't have to not make my bed this morning or I don't have to, I can, I can skip this one meal, I can skip this one workout. It's not gonna matter if I just do it this one time, right? Or, you know, yeah, one time doesn't fucking matter. But the thing is, if you allow yourself to do it this once, you will allow yourself to do it again. And you need to understand when you're lying to yourself, when you're negotiating, and trying to you know, convince yourself, oh, it doesn't matter, I can do it just this one time. At one time, maybe the next day you do do it, but then a couple days go by, 
something else comes up. You have some other fucking lame ass excuse of why you can't do it. And so you don't you skip it again. You skip your workout again. And then the next day, then maybe you go. And pretty soon, you're going to keep skipping. And that habit that you built will break. And it will be lost. And you'll completely fall out of it. And you'll fail. Why did that happen? Yes, it's because you continuously chose not to do those things. But the real reason why it happened started with that first time. It started with that one instance where you said, oh, it's okay. And this happens all the time. It happens to me with multiple habits. With multiple things. Fucking, <laughs> I'll be so tired or so late that I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't need a journal today. Right? I don't need to, I don't need to read today. Like, I'll do it tomorrow. It's just one day. It's 12 a.m. I need to focus on this instead, right? And I do have my priorities. And right now, prep is my priority over everything. But I have lost other habits. And the reason why is not because every day I choose to not do it. It's because that first time when I broke it. The thing is, it's going to happen. You're going to fail. Of course you are. That's the whole, that's the biggest part of the entire process. You're going to fail. But when you do, you need to be, you need to learn from it. So you need to acknowledge what went wrong and you need to be mindful of it going forward. And so the next time that that does happen, when you're, when you're trying to talk yourself out of it, you're saying, oh, I had a long day. I had this problem or this happened at work or I needed to do this or I really can't. Instead of trying to find a solution and figure it out, you just say, it's okay. I'm going to give myself a break today. Or I'm not going to do it today or whatever, right? Realize, hey, this is that exact time. Right now is the moment when I'm going to make that decision that's going to affect everything going forward. And when you do realize that, more often than not, you're going to say, okay, yes, I'm tired. Yes, I'm pissed off. Yes, this happened today or had to deal with this bullshit or whatever. And you're going to say, you know what? Instead of quitting, instead of giving up, instead of letting you know, I'm going to, I'm going to move this over so I can have, I can fit my workout in or instead I'm going to stay up just a little bit later so I can prep my meals for tomorrow so that I have a better day tomorrow so that I don't fail that I do succeed. You, ch you try to find a solution instead of just giving up, right? And it happens. You're going to fail. It, it always fucking happens. Okay. <laughs> but you need to learn from it, move forward, get better. And yeah, that's some of the best advice that I can give right now all right i'm gonna quit ranting anyways the support has been amazing thank you to everybody seriously even if you're just watching the videos send me um, a comment or a dm everybody that's that's reached out and really supported me it means so much more than you could ever understand so thank you to everybody and peace